so hi guys um i know i've been a little mia for a little bit but um and the reason i've been a little mia is because uh like obviously i've been really busy um with college trying to get all my assessments sorted and all my assignments sorted so i've been a little busy with that and then the week that i got back off holiday i was ill and because obviously me out being on having an overactive thyroid, I'm on tablets and they kill my uh, white blood cells as well. So it's a little bit harder for me to get better faster, if you get what I mean. So yeah, um, that's another reason why. So that took me like a couple of weeks to get better. And then basically I've been busy with college, trying to get everything sorted. Because obviously the course that I'm on, I started in... May the 10th and I'll finish in September so I need to I finish September the 10th and it's not long away so I really need to get like my ass into gear so I'm just sorting out all my assessments getting everyone ready for when I want to assess for when I need them so I've just been sorting that out getting all my assignments ready because obviously I've, I'm a little bit behind on my assignments because obviously I've been on holiday so I'm getting all them sorted um And also I've been doctors and I've got another problem. So I've been doctors and I've been, been told that I've got something wrong with my liver. They're not sure what yet. Um, I've got to go for x-ray. They're going to x-ray my, um, my liver and my gallstones to see if that's a problem. So they're going to x-ray that. Um, and then who knows what's going to happen after that. So yeah. But I thought I'd just come on here today because... Um, Obviously, I haven't been on. For, I haven't been really videoing much lately because obviously, I've been really busy, been ill, had problems with the doctors, um, and all that lot. So, but yeah, I've started using a certain product. Um, I was ifing and ahhing on it to start off with because uh, obviously I've never used this product before. So I was like, mm, do I use it? What if I get a reaction? What if it goes wrong? What if it is as good as everyone says it is? So I was like, no, hmm, do I do it? Do I not? So basically, I was like, you know what? Let's just bite the bully. So today, so a couple of weeks ago, I put a little swatch on the area, um, doing a little tester, see whether I was allergic to it. Come out a little, I wasn't allergic to it, so I've, I've been using it every day. Of well, not every day, because obviously I don't need to do it every day. But I've been using it like the first week I used it, I didn't even need to use it again for another two weeks. And so I've been doing it like that. But I've been noticing that the more I use it, the longer it lasts. So if you're more wondering, Terry, just tell me what you're on about. So basically, I've been using this Veet um, Hair Removal Cream, a silk and fresh technology for normal skin. And this is a 200 milligram. You also get like the little spatula as well that comes with it. So basically, the reason why I bought this is because I hate shaving. I really do, I hate it, full stop. One, it gives you ingrown hairs. Two, it leaves up them little bumps on your skin. And even if you do waxing as well, it still leaves the same little bumps. And I used to hate that. I used to think that literally it looked a mess on my legs. That's why I stopped shaving my legs. Like seriously, I stopped shaving my legs like last month because obviously I was shaving them and then like I'd look and I'd get all these red bumps on my skin after shaving or if, if I wax. And to be fair, I don't like it so I hardly show, that's why I hardly showed my legs when I shaved them. But lately I've been using this Veet, I couldn't even pick it up, this Veet hair removal cream. I've been using it and oh my god, it's amazing. It seriously is. Like literally, no bumps, no ingrown hairs, nothing. Literally, your leg is literally soft and silky. And um, obviously, um, tells you to do a little tester before you pull it. You pull it all over your leg because if you if you're allergic to it, you don't want to pull it all over your leg. You just want to do a little test on your skin, see if. You're allergic to, if not, then pull it all over. If Ram takes it off, don't throw it in the bin. 
but then it tells you to leave it it takes three to six minutes to do so what I do is I put it on um I do what I do is I do the top top of my leg first do that leave it for three to six minutes sit down watch TV take it off do the one side for three to six minutes to, and then do TV whatever do the other side same and I do that all around my leg yes I know people are saying why do you do that for because obviously it's faster well not not fast but it's, it takes more time but yeah imagine if you're in the shower and you put this slab this all around your leg all around the back sides and everything up and down from your ankle to your knee and you do that and literally then you get on with whatever you're doing for three to six minutes literally you wipe it off you wash it off and it all all your hair's gone straight away. The only reason why I do it like that is because obviously I'm not I'm not in the shower in a minute. I don't want to just get in the shower just to do my legs and then go back out. You know what I mean? No, that's the point. So literally, I just done it on my bed while I'm lying, just lying on my bed watching TV. Because then I'll take it off, do the rest. It might take longer, but it saves me then getting in the shower to do that and then to get out. You know what I mean? I don't, it, it's no point. But yeah, anyway, this... Um, it's suitable for use of our legs, arms, underarms and bikini line. Do not use head, face, ears, nose, eyes and around the nasal area or any other body part. Uh, do not use on uh, veins, scars, moles, spotty, broken, irritated, sunburnt skin or skin that has had allergic reaction to hair removal cream before. That's a little bit, that's a little bit crochet because obviously I've got moles on my legs and I've used it on my legs and I've put it over the moles and it's really done nothing to be fair but it depends what they mean by moles because you've got the ones that are underneath skin and you've got the ones that are really raised on your skin so I don't know, I've, I've only done it with the ones that I'm literally under my skin, I've never done it on the ones that I'm raised but I guess that's what they mean not to do it on moles but I've done on moles and don't do nothing. I always leave 74 hours between hair removal sessions. Check with your doctors before use if you are on a medication which affects your skin. If you suffer from skin irritation disorder or if you have a condition which might affect the skin. No, 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 no. That's weird. I'm sure it told me. Normally, it tells you how long it lasts. Um, like it tells you waxing lasts for so and so. But it don't tell you how long it lasts for. Well, that's useless, eh? It says wait, se leave 70, 72 hours between hair removal sessions. That's helpful. You thought you would have. They would have at least put it on there for how long it lasts if you do it properly. But yeah, you get like the little spatula as well. So what you do is, um, how I do it is, I literally take my bottoms off. Because obviously, you don't want to have like some float player leggings on or summer. So you can like pull your trousers up over your knee, make sure it stays there, put it all over your leg. Um, if you're walking around the house and you're not going to sit down, put it all around your leg, the back of the sides and everything, up and down, and then just leave it for three to six minutes. And then get this to check it, you get the little spatula and then you just like move it, move a little bit on the area, just like, just like move a bit of the cream on the area, see if the hair's moved. If it's moved, then take it off. Um, I've noticed that sometimes you need to leave it a little bit longer on certain parts of the area like um on my leg i had like a little bit of area which the hair is a little bit thicker so i've had to leave that a little bit longer but it still does a great job um like literally i've just done it today and i'm stroking my legs and it's like oh my god my legs are so soft my legs are so soft so yeah um i love this product to be honest because one it don't leave no ingrown hair now, to, uh, toenails, that and all. It don't leave no ingrown hairs, doesn't leave bumps on your skin like the razor that it does when you're waxing does, doesn't leave that. Um, 
leaves your skin soft and irritator free. And to be honest, it's just it's just good. It even gets like you know when you shave and then you got and you know you look and you got hair still. It even gets them, and it's just it's just amazing. I love it. It's it's literally got five stars for me. Not serious. Um, obviously I'll keep on using it. Um, it'll probably be my favourites from now on. So, and to be honest, that's the reason why I'm doing this one as a favourites for because. The products that I've been using, that I'm normally doing my favourites, they're the same products all the time, every month. And I don't think you want to keep seeing the same products that I keep using every month. Like, there's no point. Because obviously, you're going to realise, oh, same products as last month, same products as the month before. You know what I mean? You don't want to see that. You want to see new products that I am loving. And this is a definite product that I am loving. Um, obviously, when I get the money, because obviously I've already been paid... So, when I get paid again, which will be in a couple of days, I'm going to go uh, shopping for and have a look around the shops. Uh, we've got a Debenhams here, which has a Mac and, F Mac and uh, Mac, yeah. Mac Studio and all that lot. And I'm going to go around and have a look. Or I might even go on Beauty Bay, to be honest. Order some things off there. Um, and do a little try them out for a couple of, mon for the, um, couple of months. And then do a review on them or do a favourites if I love any of them. Because uh, I have noticed that I haven't really been buying a lot of products to be fair. Because I've noticed that the products that I've got, I'm in love with. I don't like. But I need to start trying other products. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, basically, also, if, if ever there's any videos that you want, literally just comment on the video. Like, literally, this video will go up. Just, if there's any videos that you would like to me to see, like, um, what's in my, uh, what's in my, um, what's it called now? The bag that I take to college with me, with the stuff in, not my nail stuff, what's in there? I'll do that for you any time. Uh, what's in my chest of drawers cupboards? I'll do that for you. If there's anything you would like to see, I would do it for you. Because um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get more people interactive on this on my channel. Because I've noticed that the past couple of weeks I have been doing not good with uh, YouTube. Because obviously I've been ill, been really busy, I haven't really been able to upload much. But yeah, um, and I'm also going back to college. Um, I'm going to House on College. Uh, I'm going to be doing makeup and hair, and then I'm going to move on to makeup media, and then move on to my level three beauty, and then that'd be like everything, because uh, I've already got one, two, and three in barbering, one, two, three in hair, one, two, well, two and three in nails, because obviously I'm doing nail course, so I'm going to pass that, and then, and also I've got eyebrow threading, so like. Obviously, when I've got all these qualifications that I've done, so like when I've got all my level three beauty, my hair and media and all that lot, when I've got all them lot, then I'm going to, because obviously at the minute, I'm just going to do my own makeup line as my own business. And then, obviously, once I've passed all them courses that I want to like do, then I'm going to put that into my self-employment as well. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> my throat's killing So yeah guys that's what I want to do. Um let me know on let me know on all your thoughts guys. Um if there's any products that you would recommend for me to try or if there's any products that you would like me to try just comment down below in this video let me know um I'll do that for you because um to be fair it the beauty community is a little well the makeup community is a little overwhelming if you want to say because uh obviously every day there's a new product coming out and you're like mm, do I, do I want do I want to get it so like yeah um I'm gonna start doing stuff like that so you can pick well yeah pick what makeup I buy um and what makeup I try out sorry I've got burps and then I'll give you a review on it or 
if I like it, I'll put it in my favourites. I'm thinking of doing a, do, a, a yes and no like favourites because even though you see the products that I love, you don't actually see the product also that I hate. So I'm thinking of doing that because I'm thinking just because you see products that I love, people don't know about the products that I don't hate. And if you've got the same skin tone as me, well, skin tone, yeah, I don't know. If you've got the skin type, the same skin type as me, which is oily, like um, like some part, like in my teeth zone, I'm oily, and then round the rest, it's like normal. I won't say it's dry because it it's looks and feels quite moisturised at the minute. But like this bit on my T zone is oily, and then the rest is normal. So um. If you've got the same skin type as me, you don't really know what's not going to work for you and what does work for you. So I'm thinking of doing a, a yes, it, like um, um, like yeses and noes, part like favourites because obviously, if it work, if something works for me, it might not work for you, or it might work for you, or something that doesn't work for me, you might hmm, I'm going to try that. Because it might work for me. Because you might have the opposite skin type. Skin type. Uh, uh, opposite skin type to me. So, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. Because, obviously, everyone knows that, obviously, you see favours. But you don't really see that many YouTubers doing ones that they don't like either. So, you get, like, the odd videos that say, Oh, pokes that I regret buying. My, uh, what's in my no bin. And stuff like that, but I'm thinking of doing that to be honest, because uh, obviously I love them videos. Like literally, you give me a video saying, "Oh, my dopes and nopes," and literally, that's it. I'll sit there and watch them all day. I love them. Um, I'm thinking of doing a Q and A. So, um, the next video that I upload will be a Q and A. So, if you want to put any question you want to the on this video, put hashtag Q and A. Hashtag Q&A and then you question and then I will get them all for, I will get them all written down for um, the next video which not it's going to be, because I'm going to upload a video tomorrow I think, I might, um, and then I'll do the Q&A next Thursday so then you've got like a whole week to put all your questions down that you want to ask and then sort it. Um, but I don't think there's anything else I need to say, to be honest. So yeah, um, comment what products you want me to try. Comment what videos you want next. Um, also, comment your question with hashtag Q&A. Um, and subscribe guys. See you guys later.